Hey guys, in this video I wanted to talk about how to clash properly, part 1. First I address is saving your gems for all the builder huts and using gems for boosting your barracks, spell factory, pumps and mines. A big common mistake of most beginner players is using all your gems at the beginning, trying to level everything as quickly as possible and that's not the right way to play. Why this is wrong is because if you're not purchasing gems with real life money like myself and many other players don't, you end up with only having to two builder huts when you could have had at least three around town hall or three to five. Since most of the challenges that give a substantial amount of gems are more geared towards players who are further along in the game, only having two builder huts is like a huge disadvantage, not to mention all the extra time this will consume. So all, for all those players who start Clash or who currently play, it's best advised to save those gems till all the builders are purchased, then using all the extra gems gained afterwards towards things such as boosting your buildings, um, you know, uh, and using them and not using them for finishing build times because it's not really a productive way to use gems unless, as I said earlier in the video, that you're purchasing gems with in real life money or for some reason have... A substantial or tons of gems to use as widely as you wish which isn't most players uh, but I would actually like to mention that um, just be careful like I know it's really tempting to use gems to you know boost build times and that's really what you want to try to get away from um, best advice thing or best thing to do is if you know you're gonna be away from a while you know try to do like your big timed upgrades around that time or when you're going to sleep just to save you from having that urge because sometimes like during the day I have the same urge to try to boost uh, building production just because um, I really really want something upgraded so I have a building available to upgrade something else and uh, just just try to do your big upgrades around times when you know you're not gonna be on often when you're sleeping like I said earlier and try to get on a schedule try to do something or have one builder open just so you can upgrade your walls to keep you productive to make it look like you're actually doing something which you are so maybe keeping one builder available to do walls or something like that would help you in not boosting build time on uh you know another builder or something like that so thank you guys very much and peace